Hey guys, how are you? I'm here to share with you a mid-year flip through of my Hogonichi Weeks Mega. Um, I started this in January, just like everybody else. I was super excited. Um, this is my second Hobonichi Weeks. I tried it out last year and I had a lot of fun in it, which is why I was so excited um, to try it yet this year. The flip through for the 2019 one will be linked below in the description and right here in cards. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about my cover. I've had this cover since um, last year and I love it. Um, this is by Studio Meraki Gifts and let me just show you how cute. Here is the Meraki on the back. Shana is a very, very sweet friend of mine um, right here in New York, and she does lovely things with um, leather, and this one, it, she calls them perfectly imperfect, which I love. Um, it has a little tear, and it's just, it's wonky, and I love it, but the stitching is perfect, and it just holds up, like literally when I say I, this is my everyday carry, I literally mean I carry this every single day, everywhere I go. And for the new year, she did these little tags, also made out of leather, um, and she put um, our word of the year there. And my word is expand and 2020. I'm so excited to have that there. And I'm not sure if I will be leaving it there or if I will be moving it somewhere else, but for right now, we'll leave it there. And I had also made this tiny little dashboard out of um, some packaging from the Giving Girl shop. And I keep it right in there for decoration purposes only. Because I just, I don't want the pocket to get like overextended or anything. So that's just cute. Okay, so moving on. Um, let's see what we've got going on. We've got um, some vinyl die cuts from my friend Jess over at the um, pineapple print shop and again my word of the year I've got a little munchkin in there and this is um, these are drawings from my little one um, she made her own Valentine's Day cards so I kept one because of course mommy cut them out for her and it's just like the pocket that comes with this okay so we're gonna open it up um, and I've got stickers everywhere as opposed to my 2019 I went sticker crazy in this book so you're gonna see a lot of stickers and in the description I will try to list as many of the shops that I use um, in, including my own obviously um, so yeah um, just because if I stop to mention every single one we will be here forever but this is the way I use my monthly I kind of plan out um, birthdays and quick you know things that I have to do uh, Lots of stickers, lots of washi, lots of causes. I also keep track of um, things that I purchase and things that have arrived, get a check, obviously. Uh, so every month kind of gets its own theme. And just lots of stickers. Did I say how sticker heavy this journal is? And that's probably why um, I am ditching it. I am ditching it because I thought that um, I was going to be using... Uh, a lot more watercolor like I had last year and that was so much fun but I didn't end up using I don't think I used any watercolor at all and I guess we're gonna find out today um, I have already chopped out some months so we're going to go from month um, six and which is the last official month I was in here and then um, just because I had already set this up I didn't want to pull it out so um, but 8 through 12 are obviously out, and I just glued the pages together. Um, and then we start the last couple days in December, and these are just like weekly spreads and lots of stickers, lots of washi. This is from the Wonton um, Lunar New Year, which I love. Lots of different stuff going on in here. And I love doing this. This is one of my kits, um, along with some Simply Gilded, which I love to see when my stuff kind of coincides with other <laughs> shop. Um, and all of my weather icons have gotten really well with other shops. This is when I went to Chicago for, um, for that. 
uh, CPC. That was so much fun. Little did we know that was kind of the only fun, great fun we would have this year. Um, there we go. And this is kind of when the uh, the whole thing hit the fan. Um, social distancing became physical distancing, and school um, stopped right there, March 16th. Uh, watercolor. This this is probably watercolor. This is watercolor underneath these birds. I love this washi. Uh, the washi looks like it's watercolor, so I just wanted to, I guess, um, make that be really cool. But that, I think that's the only watercolor that's... Oh, no, here, we've got some, too. Okay. Uh, this was super cute. So I'm simply gilded with, again, with my kit back here. <laughs> this is my Annie, but this is Planner Aesthetic sticker because it's brick outside. <laughs> so funny. Uh, things to do. Okay. Alrighty. Some um, Baby Yoda, some Star Wars characters. Um, I kept my format, I guess, pretty much the same. I always, I tend to put the weather on the second page. Um, and I don't know, it's, maybe I'm kind of boring. But I mean, I get, I had a lot, I had plenty of space to do what I was doing. But it did get a little hectic when I was planning for certain events um, that I have to design for. Or this is one of my kits. Sorry, I'm interrupting myself and saying sorry. <laughs> I am funny. Um, yeah, these, this is one of my background kits. And actually, I brought, um, this is my third Hobo Weeks. And this one is just for show, so that I can show what those kits look like if people need um, a little inspiration. Love those backgrounds. Love making them. Here, I put the weather on this side. Um, and then I felt like I had all this space, which worked well, I guess. It was cool. Sometimes I've put it here also. Not in this case, but... I did enjoy playing with all these stickers and setting this up. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I'm not ditching the hobo because I don't like it. I actually do like it very much, and uh, the first six months were fantastic. And this is the last week that I have in here. This was um, a 1407 kit from their virtual meetup. And um, so, yeah, so this was the last uh, one I did. It got a little messy, but um, here's, here's the thing. Uh, life is changing really quickly for us um, as a family. So... Um, I needed something bigger and even though I have all of these pages back here for notes um, and I've done a lot of like bullet journal method where I have um, the the number of the page back here corresponding to whatever it was that didn't fit um, and that worked out great but now I want to do a little more memory keeping a little flesh it out a little bit more and I do miss that whole bullet journal setup thing, like the excitement of, of tracing lines and setting that all up at the beginning of the month. I want to do, you know, dashboards uh, before the month begins. I don't know. I just miss more of that creative thing. And I think that I'm going to have a little more time to do that sort of thing. I also miss filming for you guys new videos. <clears throat> Quarantine, I thought, when it began, I thought, oh my god, this is my chance. I've got everybody at home, and I'm going to be able to, like, do all the things. But then I really, really wasn't able to, because um, homeschool life. This is my TV tracker, um, and if you guys have been a fan of my flip throughs, you know I'm very serious about my tracker. And then um, I made this little stash thingy to keep track of where my pages are. Um, okay, and some any neighbors and now I pull this out. Okay. So I'm not gonna show you the rest of my note pages only because there is some sensitive material back here, including some 
um, work stuff that I don't want to announce just yet. But just know that this uh, little hobo has uh, 213 pages of notes. Um, I've used some. There are a lot of blank pages. I won't be pulling them out like I did last time uh, because I don't want to ruin my stamping here. As you may remember, I started stamping my journals last year and um, I, I totally went ahead of myself and stamped it before I was done with it. But um, when I pulled out all the pages from my hobo last year, then I stamped it and um, that's why this one, even though super thin, like the numbers are perfect. So let's see, what else can I show you from? The journal itself is not anything super special. That's just one of my labels. And then it's this um, lighter pink color. Um, there's a very big difference between the strawberry latte and this one. I didn't care. I knew I was going to put it into a cover anyways. Um, I ended up getting a strawberry cover. Um, this is a leftover Mega Weeks from 2019 that my great friend Jody um, gifted me because she wasn't using so I could repurpose it for those kits. And, uh, and yeah, so here they are side by side, a Mega and a regular. And even if we were to take this out, which we will probably, maybe not. Yeah, so I have another back here. Oh, because I think I was marking that I wanted to show you my Marvel list. My little, um, I believe these are from Coffee Monster Co. Yeah. Or Once More With Love. It's hard to keep track. Um, in any case, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's the deal. That's why I'm jumping ship from the hobo, um, from the hobo. I love it. I do. And I may come back to it, but if I, I think now that I know better, also I didn't love that the spine just couldn't handle it. Like we're only halfway through the year and I ripped out pages already for, for those monthlies and some of the weeklies and like check that out like the the spine is already like doing all kinds of twisty turny things and uh, I just don't think this little journal could handle an entire year of stickers I mean it would but it would just be like an accordion so uh so yeah so I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm going to switch over to something else and I cannot wait for you guys to watch that video I'll be setting it up and we'll be talking more about um, you know, what I like and dislike, and I hope you enjoyed all the, um, all the little stickers. I mean, they're just so much fun to look at. I love looking at old journals and just remembering things. Sometimes it's, like, basic stuff, like, I don't know, remind the kids to floss. <laughs> um, but there they are, my Hobo Week collection. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, if I ever went back to a Hobo Weeks, I would probably go to a small one. Probably wouldn't get the Mega, because uh, now I know I wouldn't end up using all those back pages. And also, this is a great um, journal for like my work stuff. Although right now, uh, for the second part of 2020, I don't, we're going to see how we do in uh, one book. This would actually be really cool if I just put this kind of like back here. Can we house them both in here? Oh, okay. So, um, dare I mention this name? My pen loop um, is from Erin Condren. I visited her store uh, last year in August uh, for I was I was in Austin for a planner event, and then um, I get asked this a lot. I used a Stedler pigment liner point two um, as my writing I everything in here is written in in this pen um, mostly because the size is perfect uh, I have small handwriting anyways I can adapt my handwriting is what I should say um, and it doesn't bleed through and it also uh, didn't skip and it was just great. It's It's been great for Hobonichi paper, and it is waterproof. Waterproof. 
Waterproof is my absolute favorite. I have to use only waterproof because you never know when I'm going to want to um, watercolor. So I also have Microns. These nibs tend to not work extremely well for me because I tend to press down hard. So they end up going in as the pen is still new or I still have plenty of ink left. Or sometimes I find they skip and I don't... I don't love that. So Micron is kind of second best around here. And then I also have my um, my Platinum Carbon ink, which I love. I do love this pen. But uh, because it's on a nib, uh, I get scared. And I just don't, this doesn't travel well, like, because of the shape of the body. So I don't use this pen in my, in my hobo. I just found a random pen. No, it's not supposed to be. Okay, so, so yes, Stedler was my thing. And uh, I'm not mad. I'm not mad that this is on here now. It's, maybe I'll just find a nice uh, vinyl sticker or something to cover that up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess I, <laughs> I decorated them exactly the same. <laughs> this is so funny. I am so predictable. It's hilarious. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're looking forward to my next video, which is where I'll be setting up the second part of 2020. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and press that bell so you don't miss a thing. Bye, guys.